my research focuses on the ethical and legal implications of big data and algorithmic decision making. So part of my research was to figure out what companies in the private sector are collecting about us, what kind of data are they holding about us, and how that shapes um, our personality and how we're being perceived. Because at the moment, your smartphone, your smart device, maybe even your connected car, your surfing behavior, your clicking behavior is collected and is being analyzed. So it becomes your digital identity in a certain way. And that has privacy implications. Because privacy means that I have the right to um, represent myself, present myself to the outside world. It means that I have the freedom to have um, a family, business relationships, friends, kids, and all of that kind of gets, you know, um, infringed if all of a sudden my personality is being formed by the data that I leave behind. So the first part of my research focuses on the digital identity that is being created about you. And this digital identity is then being used to make decisions about people. So that means that companies decide if somebody should be granted a loan, if somebody should be admitted to university, if somebody is getting a job, is getting hired, is getting fired. So I focus on algorithmic accountability from the perspective of explanations. I think if, some, if an algorithm is making a very important decision about you, you should have the right that this um, decision is being explained to you because that's a very crucial step forward in increasing algorithmic accountability. And part of my research also focuses on the question, what does a good explanation look like? This could be you know, interpreted in various ways. It depends who you explaining the algorithm too. Are you explaining it to government, to an auditor, or to the end consumer? And we were very much interested in figuring out what a good explanation would look like for the individual that is actually affected by the decision. That's the loan applicant, that's the job applicant, that's the person that has to go to prison. So we came up with three different reasons why those people might want to have an explanation and developed a tool that would give them crucial information to understand why a decision was made about them, how to contest this decision if necessary, or to get the desired result in the future.